Welcome back, my name is Melissa if you're new here and for today's video we are going to repot my string of turtles. This is actually a peperomia. It's a peperomia prostrata, prostrata, prostrata. And I don't know if you would believe me if I told you that I grew with this entire plant from like a tiny two inch pot. I will put a picture on the screen for you guys because I just am in love with the progress that this plant has made. And it's been in this tiny four inch pot for a really long time. Well, since last summer is the last time I repotted it and I propagated it. I'm not sure if I want to propagate it and take cuttings or if I just want to repot it. I don't know, but I do want to repot it. I have another one of these shallow pots. Fortunately, they don't have them anymore on Target. So any kind of shallow pot will work. And so I'm going to be, it doesn't even really have to be a shallow pot. Any kind of hanging pot will work. But I want to put my turtles into this pot. And I just think it would look beautiful in the terracotta with the green and the orange. I'm really excited. So that's the plan for today. I also have a new mix that I have been using on some of my house plants and I've honestly been loving it so much. So I'm going to be repotting this one into that mix and I can't wait to use it for more of my plants because it honestly is so good. The last repotting video I did with my Monsteras, I put both of those plants in this mix and they're doing wonderful. They have new root and new growth pushing out, so they love it too. And I wanna get this guy in that mix and the new pot. So that's what we're gonna do today. I really hope you enjoy and let's get to repotting. Dun, 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 dun. It is so hot in my plant room today. It is 79.5 degrees right now and 57% humidity. It looks like it might be clouding up though, so it might be raining again. It's been raining every evening here. Look at my cute little turtle hook. I think I got this at Michael's. I've had this on the side of the pot. I think it brings it good luck, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put it on the side of the pot. I love this cute pot too. It's a ceramic pot. I got this at Target too over the spring. I'm gonna to have to put another plant in here just to like sit it in here and hang it. Please don't lose turtles. <laughs> I'm struggling. I lost some turtles on that one. Whoops. So this is all my turtle growth right here. I'm gonna to talk to you about the care that I do with mine and then I will repot the plant. I will say I am not the biggest peperomia person. I honestly overwater them a lot and I tend to struggle with that plant species. But I will say the turtles, I honestly have been doing so well with. And the biggest thing that I can say with turtles is to make sure they get lots of light. So if you have a window that's like south or west facing, I honestly think that would be really good. And just like hang them in the window with like a hanging basket and they're gonna love that light. For soil, I would use a substrate that is still gonna provide aeration but not have it go completely dry. I don't overwater this peperomia. I do wait for the soil to dry, but I think a good airy chunky mix is perfect for this guy. For my soil mix, I've always used my chunky mix to pot up my plants. And for this new mix, I'm really excited to provide a little bit more aeration to this plant because I overwater these guys and I think this mix is honestly going to be so good for this plant just to ensure that I don't accidentally overwater. And you know you've overwatered when they start to get a little soft and mushy and they turn like a little yellow. So if you notice the little turtle shells doing that on yours, you may have given it too much water or the soil was a little too wet for too long so it didn't quite dry out in time. So definitely a good chunky mix is really important for these guys. This is living in my window, so it receives normal temperature, humidity, normal environment. I don't do anything special for this plant, just light. And I fertilize with my liquid dirt, but I am going to be putting some slow release into the soil. I'm slowly transitioning to more slow release fertilizer, so I don't have to use my liquid dirt all the time. I find I'm watering plants a lot more in my new space since it's so warm in my plant room with grow lights. And so it's gonna make watering a lot easier. I'll just use water and the slow release will slowly release over time in the soil. So that's my plan for this one. So Peperomia prostrata here, string of turtles, you'll notice these like little flower blooms. And this a lot of the time happens if it's getting great light. Sometimes I'll have a lot of them, sometimes I don't. I don't mind the look of them. I think 
it gives it a cute touch. It's their little flowers, but it does take away from growth. If you want your plant to grow more and not have the flowers, you honestly can just pluck them right off. It's up to you and what you want with your plant. If you like the look of them, you can leave them, or if you want to cut them off, you can cut them off. It won't hurt the plant and it will encourage more growth. I'm really excited to repot this one. It's been on my list for a while. And let me show you the mix I'm going to use. So this is the mix I'm using. It's by Soul Soils and it's their houseplant mix. And I have really enjoyed this. It is nice and chunky and airy. And let me mix them out so you can see the consistency. So this is what it looks like. It has pumice and perlite. It has cocoa core pieces, these here, which help retain moisture. It has expanded clay, pine bark, compost. I just love the consistency of it. And the plants that I have potted into this mix so far have been doing really well. Since this mix does not contain any peat moss, it does have these components in there, which will help retain moisture, which is really nice since it is such an airy, chunky mix. You do need something in there so that the soil doesn't just dry out immediately. So that's what I love about this. And honestly, I just think it's such a good mix and I'm really excited to put my turtles into here and just see the kind of growth I get. Yeah, I'm gonna pan you down so you can see what I'm doing and how I repot the plant. And I'm really excited. Here is my pot that I'm using. It does have a drain hole and this is terracotta. I just have to keep in mind that it does wick away moisture. So I might have to water my turtles a little bit more than what I'm used to. I usually water, I'm probably watering this guy maybe once every week right now, just because it is so warm in my plant room and this one dries out quite a bit. But definitely don't overwater peperomias. That's my biggest mistake with them. I just try to wait until the soil dries eyes because if you see their leaves, they're kind of succulenty in a way. They're really thick so they can hold on to water longer. So that's something I would probably just be mindful of is just make sure not to overwater these and make sure the soil has dried first. I am going to put a little bit of this mix into my pot here. I just love this. <laughs> Makes me love turtles even more now. So I'm going to carefully press on the plastic, like string of pearls and string of hearts. They have very delicate root systems. So you don't honestly want to disturb them too much. I'm going to keep a lot of this old soil. I just don't want to, you know, damage the plant in any way by disturbing his root system. So I kind of sunk him down in the middle and I'm just going to fill up around with the soil mix. And then depending on what this looks like, I'm going to have to untangle him. I might propagate some strands. I'll have to see. I'll have to see what it looks like. For some reason, I don't, I don't really like bare vines at all. And if I like lose leaves or it just doesn't seem like it's growing very well, I am really notorious for cutting plants back and chopping plants. Like this vine here is a little bare and it's already bugging me. So I might be cutting some of the bare vines off. Since my soil was wet when I took him out, I'm gonna give this plant just a little bit of water just to kind of moisten the new soil with the old, but I don't wanna overwater, so I'm not going to water this plant a ton. I did this to my string of pearls and it took me forever to untangle them. So I have a feeling this is gonna take me a little while to untangle. I'm gonna use my Tazula slow release fertilizer. I've been using this for my plants. I'm going to use probably two scoops, I think, in here. Look at that mix. Doesn't that look so good? I'm, I'm already obsessed. I cannot wait for this plant to grow. Now I get to untangle this plant and I don't know how long this is going to take. I wonder how many turtles I'm going to end up losing. Yeah. This is tangled. So here he is, look at how cute. I love it, I love how it turned out. The back is a little bit bare, so I'm gonna have to move the strands around. 
And I put the little turtle clip back on and it looks so good. It kind of was a bit of a tangled mess. I wasn't going to lie. And then I'm just going to give this guy some water and hang him back at my window. I don't think I'm going to cut any to propagate. I think I'm just gonna let him grow and fill out the way that he is. So thank you for watching me repot this one. If you have any questions or anything, let me know below. I'll have my soil mixes linked down below for you too. I'm really excited. I just love this. I love how it turned out and I'm just really excited to watch it grow for me. So thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.